So at this point, our application looks a little bit beautiful, just like we can see, we styled up things and make them look a little bit. Uh, so now we have one problem. One problem we have is we can access routes that can, that require us to log in, such as the quick post page. So if we go, right now we are actually logged out. That's why we can see we sign up, we log in on the home page. But let's say if we wanted to access the create, the create post page, we can now also access that, which we, which is something that we do not want, given the fact that we are required to have a user associated with this specific request. So to begin, now first of all, we're going to write tests that are going to allow us to be able to achieve this. So to do this, we are going to begin by going within our test post creation .py, which is the module that you created in our test folder in our posts app, just like you see here. So I'm going to begin by writing a method. So we have one class that we defined in the previous videos, and that is post creation test. So inside there, I'll just implement a method which I may call test. So let me actually first make this a little bit bigger so that we have test and then in here which I'll just say test post. Now uh, let's say we're going to test if the post creation requires us to load in. So we shall just say our uh, test self so, uh this is going to be test post creation requires login. And once we've been able to do that, then the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and try to make this run. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a request or a response to that specific URL of our post creation. So the way we're going to do that is by saying self. And in this case, we shall say self dot client. So we're going to use our client object to make a get request to that specific URL. Now that URL is what we actually formed as our self dot URL in our setup method right here. So I'm just going to come here and say, we're going to get the self dot URL, which is the URL for our post creation. Now that we require to redirect to the login page, let's go ahead and try to assert this happening. So we're going to come and say self dot, in this case, shall just say self dot assert. And in this case, we shall assert equal. So the first thing we're going to pass in is going to be our response status code. So we shall say response to the status code, and then we shall pass in the second argument as <clears throat> the HTTP status code for this redirect. So this is going to be our HTTP status. But in this case, what we're going to access is the found status code. And by doing this, we shall have access to our HTTP status of found, which is the 302 status code. So let's go ahead and try to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and save. I pull up our terminal. And then the first thing I have to do is to go ahead and access the specific test module that we want to run. Now, if you keep in mind, we restructured our app and then we have each of our tests residing in a test folder. So what we're going to do now is run an individual test packet, an individual test module so that we can save the amount of time it takes for us to run all the tests. Now to do that, I'm going to come in my terminal and say Python. So we're going to say Python money.py and then test. Then we shall have to access the app. So that's going to be our post app. Then dot, in this case, we shall access our test folder, which is going to be test. And then we shall access our test post creation.py file right here. I'm just going to come and say test underscore. Then we shall pass in post creation. I'm going to run, and now we're going to run on the tests associated with the post creation itself. And those are only three tests that are running. And now the tests are actually running faster because we are running one individual test. So at this point, we see that the return status code is going to be 200, meaning that we can access this page even when we are not logged in. So for us to be able to fix it, let's start by putting or providing the login required decorator that John will provide. So to do that, I'm going to come and what I'll do is to go within our views.py and those are our post views. Now I'm going to press Ctrl E and then I'll go to our views for our posts app. Now within here, we're going to decorate this create post view function with a login required decorator so that we can only access this once we are logged in. 
So to do that, I'm going to go at the top of our code. I'll begin by importing the login by the operator. So I'll say from Django dot country dot auth shall access the decorators and then inside there shall access our login required decorator. Now once I've done that, then I'll come right here and say on 921, I'll just come and say login required. So what we expect is this route is this test is going to pass because at this point when you access that specific route we are going to require to go ahead and log in for us to be able to access it or we shall be redirected to our login page so let's go ahead and test this so we need to come right here and run our test post creation tests and now we see that our three zeros 302 status code is not equal to our http status okay which is the 200 status code and the reason that's why this is happening is because uh within our test post creation we have one test that requires us to be able to access this specific page and will only return a 200 status code once we are logged in so which means we actually require to log in first before we actually make a request to the login page so to fix this what we're going to do is to first of all use our user class or our user model to create a user before we run this test so i'm just going to come and say user dot in this case i'll call the objects manager and then in this case i'll say dot create underscore user and then in here, I'm going to provide some of the user credentials that will be used to create this user. So I'm just going to come and say that we shall have our username. And this username is going to be, let's say, test user. And once we have that, we can also create the email for this user. And I'm just going to say test user. It's going to be test user at app.com. And then we are also going to have our password which I'll just set to a random string. So let's say uh, this is going to be our test password, one, two, three, and then some hashtags. So once we have that, then this will go ahead and create a user and save it in our test database. Now, once we've created this user, the next thing is going to be for us to be able to log in this user before we actually go ahead and run this test. So to do that, I'm just going to come right here. And then the first thing I'll do is to use our client to be able to log in the user with the user credentials. So I'll say self dot, in this case, I'm going to say self dot client dot login. So this takes in the user credentials and then logs the user in. So we shall provide our username and password just from here, just like we created the user. So I'll copy and paste it in here. I'll also provide our password and this will go ahead and create our password. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And once I've saved, then the next thing is going to be to run this test. So I'm going to pull up our terminal and then run our test. And now we can see that all our tests are passing, meaning that we are only required to log in for us to, for us to be able to make requests to this page. Now let's try to do that. So when you go back to our website, right, web app right here, and you try to refresh, we now see that we are actually required to go to our to go to our redirect or to be able to redirect for us to be able to access our create post page. So let's try to log in. At this point, when we log in, we can access our create post page. Now, another assertion you may do is to assert if when we log in, we actually go to the page that we are required to log in to access. So to do that, you may go to your post creation request login, and then you add another assertion that says so. Dot. In this case, you can assert, and then you can assert redirect. And in this case, we have to provide the response object. And then we shall also provide the URL that we are required to access in case we are to log in. So basically, when we redirect, we shall have something like, uh, let's say we shall say expected URL. And in this case, we shall pass in our URL. So now that we are required to log in, we are going to be 
having the login that will have a query parameter with the URL that we are supposed to log in to access. Now, in this case, this is supposed to be something like slash accounts and then slash login. And once you have this, then you shall provide the query param of next, which is going to be equal to our. So in this case, we shall have this as slash accounts. Actually, this is slash posts, if I'm not mistaken, or this can actually be our. So let me check in our URL, which is create post. So shall just access that as create post. So that's going to come and say create post. And when I go ahead and save, let's try to run this test and see what it will return. So I'll pull up the terminal and then run our tests. And now we see that actually this is working. So the reason that's why we are doing this is you just test if this actually returns a URL that basically redirects us to the page after logging in. So if we log out, what I'm actually trying to mean is if we try to make a request to say, say, create post, it's going to generate a URL such as account, login, and then next is going to be equal to create post. So now this is working.